Okay, so this one is uh, talking about grep. So in the last workshop, we talked about um, find and grep. We're talking about grep and grep searches inside of files. The description says, can you find the flag in file? This would, be, this would be really tedious to look through manually. Something tells me there is a better way. Okay, so before we start this, um, before we start this challenge, let's create um, an environment to solve the challenge in. So we go back to our Pico CTF web shell, and then we're going to go back to our home directory. So it's cd tilde to go back to the home directory. And then we're going to make a new directory here. So make directory, mkdir, and it's going to be first grep. Make dir, first grep, and then after we've done that, we can cd, change directory into it cd first grep and now that we're inside the directory we can um, we can get the url for the file and download it okay so back over to the pico ctf web page so can you find the flag in file okay so there's a link over here just right click on it click on copy link address then go back to the web shell and then use the wget command to download the file so wget and then paste in the file address and then press enter to run the command. And it's going to save, uh, save the file over here. So we need to do lsla to make sure that we have the file. Okay, so we have this file over here. Let's take a look at what kind of file it is. So. Strangely enough, the command to see what the file type is for this file is just file file. So file file, it says it's in ASCII text contents. It has ASCII text contents with very long lines. Okay, so if we were to try to cat this one out, cat file, we would see that um, the file is quite large. And if we were to try to look for some information in here manually, it would be very, very difficult. So we're going to use the grep command to look inside this file instead. So can you find the flag in file? So we're looking for, we might be looking for uh, some text, the flag text inside the file, or we might be looking for, we might be looking for the, uh, the Pico CTF flag prefix, which uh, in most cases is just going to be um, Pico CTF over here. That's another thing that we could be looking for. But let's go back to let's go back to the web shell over here. Grep Pico CTF file. All right. So let's try that. So it's grep, and then what we the pattern we're looking for, which is Pico CTF, and then file, which is the name of the file that we are looking inside. Okay, and it says here that, um, and, and uh, we receive the flag. So this is, um, this is the method we use to get this, uh, to solve this challenge. So Pico CTF, grep is good to find things. So copy the flag and then go back to the challenge page and then paste in, paste in the flag and click on submit flag. Oh, I, it looks like I didn't copy the right thing. Okay, let me, let me go back and copy the flag. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight this and this should copy the flag and then we go back to the file and then paste in the file and then click on submit flag. Okay, so yeah, that's, um, that's how we solve the challenge. So we use the grep command uh, to search the file for a particular for a particular string to match, and uh, that's how we solve the challenge. Okay, so first grep, we can go back to the challenge um, description. I'm going to provide the link to the challenge description, and then we can click on the upload button over here to show appreciation for the challenge makers. All right. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? 
Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.